Listen well! You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? <sighs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? A clue, you say? There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Then let's prepare to cast our votes. After all this, what else do you intend to hide? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? I said, are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said, the Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different! With the power of my four Dark Devas of Destruction, it is of no concern! Truly, this is the Evil Fourth Eye. Before the might of the Evil Fourth Eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four Dark Devas of Destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! The culprit is self-evident. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. The Sword of Destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat, it brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. She just broke the window in the music room, 
and escaped outside. Then the piano. The investigation conducts universal chaos. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I see, so Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery! Hiyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. <laughs> we have presented the proof! My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out! Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! In doing so, they were able to control Hiyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray, and you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Let me ask, who might that be? Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. W what are you saying? What? If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? It seems they were trying to stall for time. So... During the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. What? They hid the pillar? It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although, the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. A valid line of reasoning. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. An even bigger jerk? Impossible! What's wrong with that? <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. I am telling you to present your evidence. Weak, 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 I say! It doesn't even pierce my heart. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. But are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, 
The time for conviction starts now! You better entertain me to the fullest! You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyo- Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor! You can't step on blood that was never there! <laughs> Just about one minute. Did you see a nice nightmare? Yoko was taped to the pillar, yes. But it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar with your feet. <laughs> you should feel proud of yourself. It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% of my power. D don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then, but regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. What time did Hajime see that video? That's not an alibi! So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? What? However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Poor. She was guided by the will of causality. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. Or it might have tampered with the camera. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? So that must mean... I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Hey, what are you trying to say? The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. That's not it? Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. It seems that was a waste of time. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. You mean, Nekomaru killed himself? If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. Then I shall ask you, what way is that? A specific item? That's right, you've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon! I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory! It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon! I, I see. You took a picture? It's not. Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? Same building, different floors? However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? 
If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? What did you say? Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? If the two houses are connected vertically, vertically, not horizontally, which means your reasoning. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. Died from falling? <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. That must be the threshold of that elevator. However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes. What about the oil on the floor? So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding? The problem is, what time would 7.30 be? In our time. There's no point in saying that. If does not exist in this world. It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is it, Sonia? However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? How did they use it? <laughs> it's merely the foolish talk of the weak. What's wrong with that? If the bell of catastrophe rings throughout the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. Hear what? Answer me this. Including myself in my four dark devas of destruction, how many ears do we possess? The answer is ten. That's right, I possess ten ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. D do not panic. The truth shall now commence. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right, that's all it was. The world is always so simple. And yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. 
I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? As I recall, the killer tampered with the Grape House control panel, which shut down the elevator. Plus, the stopped elevator should have been facing the Grape House side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at Grape House. For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. that elevator was the only means of travel between the two houses. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop this already? Such a method does not exist! Infinity Unlimited Flame! However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead wound? That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> if you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. Did you say? Don't make me angry! You wouldn't like me when I'm angry! Even if the Turbid Box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the octagon? Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blind confusion, at least pray to the key which dwells in the light! <laughs> Hold on! You... What did you just say? That... I didn't battle? Don't... Mess with me! Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! You fools! Do not understand! You don't understand at all! Ha! You make me laugh! After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all! It appears... I cannot finish just yet. Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish! It's obvious I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's goodnight button. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. Just as I thought, truly frail, succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. <laughs> Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Listen well, I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. 
first. You must crush them with your own overwhelming power. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. <laughs> I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesies! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! Show me the cadaver! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! For the Tanaka Empire! It's Nekobaru's back! Do you really think I can get behind him so easily? This is the end! Oh? <laughs> Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere! Now, trample this life! Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road! Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands! <laughs> splendid. <laughs> that was splendid! For a mere human, you did quite well. You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? Then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood-soaked world has for Danganronpa. Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. <laughs> well done! Yes, indeed that is the truth! However, even if you do escape to the outside world, you will find it most unwelcoming. Such foolishness! To cast your life away is the height of stupidity. To choose death is to blaspheme against life itself! I agree with that! No, that's wrong! I agree with that! No, that's wrong! <laughs> 